Hello and welcome. My name is Leon Rowe, currency trader at trading180.com, the Forex single and education service. And in this week's video, I'll be giving you my fundamental and technical analysis on the Forex markets. From a fundamental perspective, we've had Britain vote on leaving the EU, which has sent the pound to levels not seen for decades against the US dollar. The question is, will the pound fall further? The effect of Brexit on the euro isn't very positive. The eurozone is still suffering from low inflation and now with Brexit compounding fears, the uncertainty continues politically because now there are talks that other countries like the Netherlands and France possibly following Britain's lead. The Canadian dollar will be in focus this week. On Thursday, GDP figures will be released which is expected to be positive but if we have another month of negative growth, it will trigger recession concerns which will more than likely weaken the Canadian dollar. The US dollar will probably benefit the most from the uncertainty surrounding the euro and the pound. Although the US have their own elections coming up, they're in a much better position economically. And although rate rises have been pushed back by the Federal Reserve Central Bank, the US dollar is still the stronger and more stable currency compared to the pound and the euro. The Japanese yen is in a very difficult situation. In January, the Bank of Japan cut interest rates to negative with the hope of devaluing the yen to boost exports and their stock market. Since then, the yen has gained in strength. In January, the yen was around 118 to 1 US dollar. And at the end of last week, the yen settled at around 102. Reports have suggested that the Bank of Japan may have to intervene at some point in the near future to assist in devaluing their currency. Looking from a technical perspective, the charts show the pound dollar and the euro dollar are more likely sell trades. You may want to wait for a larger retracement on the pound dollar around the 38.2 fib level, which also offers resistance. This may be a good level for you to get short. This is the dollar index chart which shows the dollar strength versus other major traded currencies. It's put in a very bullish candle worth of support. This should add weight to any dollar buy trades. The dollar yen is at a major support level right now, which has previously held for the last six months of 2014. With the US dollar benefiting from uncertainty in Europe, this may be a decent level to buy, but be careful as the Japanese yen is referred to as what is known as a safe haven currency, which means that when there is fear in the market, investors put their money in assets which will protect their investment. The Japanese yen is considered one of those safe haven assets. If you'd really like to take advantage of our analysis and profit from our trade signals, why not go to trading180.com. We are currently up 480 pips for the month of June, as you can see from our previous YouTube videos. Register your interest now and be the first to receive our signals absolutely free for the month of July when we launch our website. Thanks for watching and have a great trading week.